video for the day. We're in my daughter's bedroom because I wanted to share with you some of my absolute favorite toy storage solutions. Now, we use IKEA shelving because first of all, it's really inexpensive, but it does you don't need to have IKEA shelving. Basically, the whole idea is using a bin system for your kids' toys and um You've probably seen it before when we had a toy room, I had those awesome bins and I'm sad I missed my toy room, but we're using another bin system and it's working just as well. So come with me, I'll show you our toy storage. Okay, so here in my daughter's room we have this amazing IKEA Expedia, I think it's called, shelving. But you, again, you don't need to use IKEA shelving, but what makes this so great are these bins on the bottom. So because toys are heavy, all these bottom bins are filled with different toys. And really the trick is, is sorting them. So we have one for Barbies, we have one for um, Strawberry Shortcake, we have one here for Monster High, we have one there for um, just different toys all the way along the bottom. So that's really key because when they're putting it away, they know exactly, just have to open it up and know what goes back. And kids as young as two can get this concept of putting things away with other like things. Now ideally labeled is better, but uh, my husband wouldn't let me. <laughs> He's like, our whole house is labeled. He doesn't let me label out in the open. He thinks that looks ridiculous. But here in the closet, we do actually have another IKEA shelving we've put in the bottom of the closet. This is my youngest daughter's closet. And just using again the bin system. These bins are from the dollar store. And you'd see some leftovers from when we had the toy room here with the pictures on them. And the other ones, they can read now. So just have word labels on them. And then up at the top, we've also used bins for just stuffed animals. Just everything in a bin makes it so much easier to clean up and put away. She has her princess in Lego land there, which it obviously is not in a bin just because we had the space for it. But it's nice because it's in the closet so we can close the doors. But the bin system has been just... I can't say enough about it, and I'll show you in our new toy room, living room. We're not quite done it, but I'll show how, how we organize toys in that space as well. So while we are redoing this room, we've got a couple more little IKEA shelves here. You know I'm addicted to the IKEA shelves. But even though it's in the living room, because they're all nice and dark bins, we're using them to store all of the kids' toys that are sort of Milo can play too. So cars and trucks and doctor kits and um, kitchen stuff and random action figures. And we also set up a little TV here so they could access the Wii and play with the, their video games and watch DVDs right here. And I love having this shelf because one of these bins we pull out, they put it on the floor, they can dump it out. But then when cleanup time comes, they know that they just put it all back in that one bin. So everything is an all jumbled mess. And when they're looking for things like, say they're playing doctor, they don't have to dump out their toy box and the piles of stuff looking for all the pieces they need. Everything is already sorted. So they're really not making a big of mess when they go to play. We're here in my son's room, and what can I say? More IKEA shelving, but when you find something that works, you go with it. And this for me really works. The, it's not so much the IKEA shelving, we buy these because they're inexpensive, but it's the cubby and bin and basket system. So I'll show you one last spot where we keep some toy storage in, you guessed it, a bin system to make sure that our home is clean and clutter free. Last but certainly not least is our living room. Yes, we have toys in literally every room in the house. We have three kids, but we don't want to always look at them. So these are these little bins that we just tuck here. And when I'm making dinner or we're doing something in this room, I'll take out one of these bins for Milo and they're just filled with his toys. But that way it's sort of manageable amount of clutter. So these two bins here are Milo's. And then our coffee table actually has storage in it, which has things for the girls, um, tea sets and different food and stuff that they can play with in either side of the coffee table that flips up. So it's hidden and it's away, so it's easy for them to get out, it's easy for them to put back. But best of all, when the kids go to bed, your whole house isn't filled with clutter. Hi, so after three kids and also running a daycare in my home for lots of years, I've tried a million different ways to sort of contain the toys. And having kids does not mean you have to live in a toy store. The bin system, the sorted bin system is by far the best system I've ever tried and now I've been using it for years to keep kids picking up their own toys, not making a giant mess and having your home back from Toys R Us. 
Anyways, that's your tip and we'll see you next time.